Hello, online crew. How are you? I hope you're feeling better than I am. <laughs> hey, I'm human. I'm not well, and I think I'm going backwards rather than forwards, but it's okay. Um, I am currently, as you can see, sitting in my car at the local junior football. So uh, my youngest son has just uh, played his footy game and they blitzed it. So that's cool. Um, so I'm still here um, at the local at the local footy. Um, so um, yeah, that's why I'm sitting in my car. It's Saturday morning here in my neck of the woods in Australia. Hello, Andrew. How are you? So if you are popping on, so you're going to see footy kids and footballs and that all behind me. The oval is directly in front of me. I'm on the boundary line. But hey, Sean, how are you? I can't flip my camera because <laughs> it's on the rear vision um, mirror. So hey, Edith. Hey, Julie. So if I flip the screen, all you're going to see is uh, black. <laughs> so I won't bother doing that. But it is beautiful sitting on the boundary line here, just, you know, looking looking at the football country life, country junior footy life. Um, so lovely to see you all jumping on. Those of you catching the replay, just put the word replay down below and I will say hello to you later. Sean, I hope, I hope I'm feeling better. I was, but uh, hey, Tony, um, I actually think I'm going backwards again, which is not a good thing considering I need to travel to Sydney. Um which is a major capital city in Australia for a funeral on Monday. Um, hey, Suzanne, how are you? Uh, so lovely. Thank you, Judy and Bob. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can bounce back um, tomorrow. Um, it is a gorgeous, beautiful day in our neck of the woods, Judy and Bob. So thank you. Uh, yeah, you're quite right, Andrew. Vitamin D will help. Um, grew up like that sitting at the oval. Yeah. And it is, as you can see, <laughs> I won't have it wide open because of the glare, but, um, the sun is out today. So, you know, maybe I should go out and sit in it anyway. Um, this is a social media tip, um, of the week. I do this at the end of the week. I just like to give you something that, um, thank you, Olive, something that, um, you know, is, uh, important to you and your business growing it online, something that might be research based, something that's happening sort of here and now in relation to building a business on social media. So that's what I like to bring you um, at the end of the week. And today is no different. I just want to keep this relatively short and sweet and focused because there's a lot going on in Facebook, um, you know, right at this very moment. And what they've just had is uh, Facebook itself. It's called their quarter one investment call. And that sort of gives us, you know, information and an insight into what's been going on because they talk about all their results, but also what's coming up. So that's what I want to share with you, what I've um, heard, uh, you know, and learned from what they've just released in their um, quarter one investment call and what, what they're focusing on. So I'll share that with you in just a sec. So those of you that, um, you know, we have not met before, my name is Helen Martin. I am your online crew captain. I don't have my hat here with me today while I'm out and about, but we do really have an awesome community here of home-based business owners, which is small business owners, net, um, you know, entrepreneurs, network marketers, direct sellers, those in, um, you know, multi-level marketing. That's who we are here. And we're learning to leverage social media with modern social media strategies to grow our business. So the last thing we want to do is chase anybody to build our business, try to convince anybody to build you know, to buy anything off us. So, um, you know, we truly want to learn to leverage social media to attract, um, you know, people to us and our businesses. So that's what we're learning here. Um, we do have the palm tree emoji as a mascot for our community here. So drop that down below. It is a super awesome community. You're quite right, Julie, um, Judy and Bob. Um, uh, just no hat. That's right. No hat today, but still the captain. Um, so yeah, I don't need the hat, do I, Rob? That's right. Um, hi, Kathy. Lovely to see you jump on. Um, 
So I also have a free Facebook group community, Hey Tina, which is called Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners. And if you caught my Facebook live yesterday, I referred to a few videos that I've got in there, training videos that are for free um, that I've got in unit was it unit two or unit three? I can't remember in that group, but there is some awesome training there about attraction marketing, about Facebook stories, about becoming an influencer online. So feel free to go and request access to that group if you're not already in there. It's completely, um, completely free. And if you are a member of my... Um, uh, my coaching community. Where are my online crew leaders? Put the little cruise ship emoji down below. Let me know that you guys are here. So that's my private coaching community where I keep those guys up to date with, um, you know, more practical trainings and sort of help them to build their business online. Uh, so what I wanted to share with you today about Facebook's, um, you know, first quarter investment call were sort of the three main areas that they focused on, which you, you should be, um, you know, it's not stuff that you need to know in depth, but it's definitely stuff that you want to be aware of if you're growing a, um, you know, business um, sort of online. So one of the major focus points was um, this whole thing about, you may have heard me say these words before, um, private, um, what's it called, encrypted, oh, I've forgotten the words now, uh, encrypted uh, private messaging. That's not the exact words. It's escaped my mind. I was just thinking about it before. But um, basically encrypted private messaging. So basically on Messenger now, when you are communicating with people in Messenger, Facebook has access to sort of all that data and all that information. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not encrypted, if you like, but that's the way they're moving. Now, what's important about all of this is that there is a huge focus on personal profiles being for personal, private, um, you know, reasons. And personal messenger is for personal, um, you know, just p purely personal messages. The theme that I got from it was that they do not want business moving through personal profiles. So that is really important to you guys in this industry, particularly, you know, network marketers, direct sellers, where you are continually using your private, um, well, not private, personal profile on Facebook to, um, you know, talk about your business and put posts up about your business. This is not what Facebook wants to see moving forward. They are have got a huge focus on making sure personal profiles are for personal reasons only. Um, messenger, personal messages are private and personal, um, you know, and encrypted to a way which is good and bad. There was a whole lot of discussion about what does that really mean for for, you know, people that are not all above board, like, um, you know, terrorism and things like that, if things are encrypted and they can't be tracked, you know, is there a danger in all of that, uh, you know, moving forward? So, there, there, you know, there's a lot of discussion about what encrypted is and isn't going to sort of be sort of moving forward. But basically, they just want to keep certain things private and protected. I didn't really sort of think about these things, but Facebook has a lot of problems with governments in different countries saying, hey, if you're collecting data on people from our country, we want the data. And Facebook saying, well, no, that's our data that we're collecting on our platform. That's not sort of public information for you to sort of have. But certain countries are saying, no, well, these are people that live in our country. If you're collecting data on people that live in our country, we want your data. Um, so if things are encrypted and stored in, you know, different ways, then that won't be a problem. So there's all these bigger picture stuff that you guys don't really need to worry about. But what I'm trying to get across to you is the, what I've been trying to say to you for well over a year now, do not push your business on your personal profile. And the way that Facebook is moving and, you know, what's happening now, organic reach is dying when you do that. And, um, you know, it's just not where the future of building your business online is going to be. It's not what Facebook wants. Um, it's going to kill your profile by doing that. You really need to move. If you haven't got the message yet, you really need to move to a business page. 
And I know what some people say, business page is too much effort. It doesn't get the organic growth. It, it's a pay to play. If you don't do Facebook ads, it doesn't work. And, you know, all those kind of things. There are so many features that Facebook is giving business pages and will continue to give business pages because they don't want you to do business on a personal profile. Does that make sense, guys? So they're moving and giving more features to business pages to make them more viable because they just don't want to see people doing business, any kind of business on a personal profile. So my big message, my um, you know social media tip to you is if you don't, if you really truly are serious about, um, yes, that's right, Rob, there are a lot of things, you know, going on behind the scenes, and particularly at this time of year, I warned you last week, keep your eyes and ears open over this coming weeks, because this is when they have their first quarter investment, um, you know, investors call, so people that are shareholders and investors in Facebook, so that's just happened, and this is one of the areas, a huge topic of discussion, is encrypted messaging, um, you know, that, that kind of um, protecting sort of people. But the the bigger message behind that is that um, they just don't want people doing business on personal profiles. So business pages are getting more features. The second biggest thing that was talked about was Facebook stories. If you've listened to a lot of my videos lately, this shouldn't be new to you, but the really interesting stat that they mentioned, um, well, Zuckerberg mentioned on the, um, on the call was they now have 500 million daily users of stories features across their, um, hey Bella, across their um, three platforms. So that's Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. So in September last year, that was 300 million. So from September last year to now, I, it's, um, what's that child doing at my boot? <laughs> throwing a football. <laughs> um, I mean, can you even fathom that, guys? An extra 200 billion people are using Stories features now just since September last year. So if you've not got the message that the future of, um, you know, F Facebook marketing and where you're going to get exposure from is in Facebook stories, and particularly they said the exposure and the growth is in business pages on Facebook stories. Guys, if any of you have a business page and it's not doing very well, you're not getting the organic reach that you want, um, you're struggling a little bit with it, embrace the stories feature on your business page. Start utilizing that more than your news feed because that's where you're going to increase the, you know, well, the algorithm in, in Facebook stories is different to the news feed. I've mentioned that many times, but they're favoring the organic reach and business pages in stories. So you can make up a lot of ground. You can get eyeballs over, send people to your business pages from your personal page you know do blending strategies like those of you in my coaching community I, you know, I did a blending boot camp and sort of shared with you numerous strategies how to blend your business, at, you know, on a personal page and blend business and personal pages. You like use those strategies, um, guys. Hey, Saran, lovely to see you on live. And the other thing, um, so just think about that for a second. 500 million people are using the stories features every single day. And it's only going to increase. It was one of the feature topics of discussion on the on this first quarter um, investors call from Facebook. And what's happening next week is there's the Facebook conference. So what's predicted to happen at that Facebook conference is a lot of other little updates and all the changes that they're predicting for the future, they're all gonna be released at this conference. Um, you know, coming up next week. So, you know, as I said last week, keep your eyes and ears open for what's happening with all of that. But the three focus points, two I've mentioned already, one is the encrypted messaging network, Facebook stories, the growth of it, the future of it, the viability of it. Um, you know, they were talking about things like um, they want to move Facebook um, advertisers, marketers into Facebook stories because if they change the news feed as we know it today, then, um, you know, people won't be able to advertise like we know it today. So they've got, they're going to move Facebook advertising 
into you know the stories um, more and more and more at the end of the day facebook makes its money through advertisers people that do facebook advertising so facebook advertising is going to be um, you know, something we're going to see more and more and more of in Facebook stories as well. So those of you that are marketers that are doing Facebook advertising, something to keep on your radar. And the CEO of Facebook, um, you know, mentioned you want to be at the forefront of that if you're a marketer and you're doing Facebook advertising. So Facebook advertising in stories is something to watch out for coming up as well. So the the, the encrypting the stories were two. Um, you know, one of the other major things that was mentioned and Instagram's trialing it now with a lot of major, you know, like big brands is being able to pay straight from the platform. So that's something that we're going to be probably seeing in the future from Facebook. There are certain, um, you know, brands and top influencers that have that facility on Instagram now where you can play, you can choose something and pay straight from the platform. This is something we're going to see moving forward probably on Facebook. So there was a lot of discussion on this call about that and what's coming with that. So it will be an area of growth moving forward, which I think is going to be a, a fascinating and maybe exciting opportunity for a lot of Facebook advertisers, for people to choose something off a off your Facebook page or the Facebook platform and buy there and then by choosing something and paying for it through Facebook. So at the moment, people lead um, you know, people to like PayPal and, um, you know, PayPal gets like the commission. So obviously what Facebook wants to move into, hello, Sandrine, what Facebook wants to move into is getting their own little slice of commission from people that can sell things off Facebook. So why wouldn't they? If you can shift products and certain things through Facebook and Facebook has the ability for people to pay straight on the platform, and they can get a little slice of that action. It's another income, like a revenue raiser for Facebook. So, um, you know, and as I said, Instagram's testing that. And like, guys, if you haven't worked it out already, what you whatever you see happening over on Instagram, um, it generally ends up on Facebook somewhere in the future. So, uh, Instagram had stories before Facebook did. Um, you know, the the test the um what they're testing at the moment with a horizontal feed on Facebook. You can't see that publicly, by the way, rather than a vertical. Feed feed that was trialed on um, Instagram a while ago so yeah whatever you see like sort of happening over there is often what's you know their playground for what's sort of coming over um, you know on Facebook so it's interesting stuff guys in what's going on at the moment but I guess my real sort of tip for you is if you really want to build a business on social media um, you really need to embrace the business page element of, um, you know, moving forward. You may not realize the benefit that of that right here and now, but, um, you know, the messages are there. It was mentioned on, you know, the, this quarter one call today. They just don't want business being done on personal profiles. So, you know, this is something that, you know, we're getting used to now, but think about that in a year or year's time, two years time five years time. Um, they're going to give business pages more and more and more features because that's where they want you to do your business. So just um, my message is, um, I guess, get ahead of the game, guys. The warning signs are there. I've been talking about this for months, about the purpose of business pages, getting off your personal profile. It doesn't mean you can't create curiosity and intrigue still. So you can still create curiosity and intrigue on a personal Facebook page about your business, about products, without showing the product. You know, that's stuff that you should be learning and aware of now. And you'll always be able to do that because your business is an extension of you. Um, you know, and especially if you've got a home-based type business, it's, um, you know, something that you do in your own time. So, so you can incorporate that into your life. You can share that on social media. So there's always going to be things that you can allude to about having a home based business on your personal profile but it's not where you, it's not where the future of your business is if you're serious about building a business on social media does that make sense to you guys um send me some likes and loves which is exactly what I'm not meant to say and I just said it <laughs> this is what I was talking about yesterday in untraining your brain to say I might as well say it I've already said it we're not meant to say click the like button or the love button. We're not meant to say comment below anymore. So I'm just killing this video again like I did um, yesterday. It's going to take me a while to untrain my brain to naturally say 
what I'm not meant to say anymore. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and find yesterday's Facebook Live uh, video and uh, that it, that'll explain what I'm saying right here and now. Now, those of you that are my online crew leaders in my private coaching community, all the stuff that I mentioned on Facebook Lives and the alternative words, I put all that in the 